Hey guys, what is up? It is no help and welcome back to another video today. So in today's video, we're going to be killing a Vorkath with range in 2024 to see if it's worth it. This year, I got the Dragon Hunter crossbow and I've only done a couple of kills, so I really want to test it out. So this is the graph for superior dragon bones and as you can see this month they went all the way up to 26k they're dropping a little bit right now but still 25k per bone if we take a look at the past even year of this item yeah just in may they were like 9k each so they're pretty much at the highest that they have been um in the past year so maybe jagex is doing something about all of the bots so requirements to kill Vorkath is completion of the Dragon Slayer 2 quest and here are the suggested skills from the wiki. Yes, it is highly recommended to have the Ornite Rejuvenation Pool, just helps a lot, especially with banking, getting back there and uh, not having to, you know, waste food and prayer potions. So this is the gear I'm going to be taking today. We've got the full Elite Void. Um, we have the Assembler. The Salve Amulet EI is a huge help here. We have uh, Ruby Bolts E with the switch to uh, Diamond Bolts E. We have the Twisted Buckler. Um, the Dragon Hunter Crossbow. Uh, a little embarrassing, but Arm Armadillo Dehyde Boots. And the Ring of Suffering. We could get some upgrades down at the bottom. And for the inventory, we have the Slayer Staff. Um, this is useful so that we can quickly cast the Crumble on Dead spell. Make sure that you have it set up to auto do that. Um, other than that, we have the Bolt Switch, a Range Potion, uh, an Anti Venom Plus, Extended Super Anti Fire Potion, couple of Prayer Potions. Depending on how long you last, you may want to take an extra prayer, a little less food. Um, then I just have some Carm Wands and Sharks so that I can double eat. At the bottom here, we've got the, the Rune Pouch, which will have Dust Runes and uh, Chaos Runes. Um, this is uh, useful so that we can cast the Crumble on Dead spell. And then we have the Fremenic Sea Boots to get there and Construction Cape to get back to the house to bank. Alright, so how I'm going to be getting there today is using the Fremenic Sea Boots and teleporting over to Relica. Now, once you're in Relica, you just want to basically head uh, north up to the boat right here and click Travel the Fremenic Boat. This will get you over to where Vorkath is located. Um, for quick prayers, I highly recommend you set up Pray for Magic and Rigor or maybe Eagle Eye if you don't have Rigor. Uh, very nice because there is one, one mechanic that will shut your prayer off and you can get it back very quickly all right so we'll show you guys a basic kill so you want to climb over the ice chunks and get into vorkath's layer right here make sure you turn run off this is super important because one mechanic you can't be running or you'll take a lot of damage we're gonna drink a ranging potion drink an anti-venom and drink our extended super anti-fire potion and then pour uh poke vorkath to wake him up and then we'll put our quick prayers on right here and we can start attacking the boss immediately so right here you can see that the dragon hunter crossbow absolutely shreds vorkath it is super nice um yeah other than that you kind of want to pay attention to the range attacks because they can do a lot of damage to you because we're of course going to be praying melee the big fireball you want to move out of the way and this is the acid phase where you can take a lot of damage if you are running so you want to walk back and forth and uh, avoid this at all costs if you're if you're walking you will not take any damage during this uh, uh, stage it's good it's good to eat during this stage or drink a potion and there we go he has another range attack coming in as you can see they can smack you so make sure that you uh, have enough HP for that here's where the common ones come in handy because we can double eat to kind of just save a little bit of time and get more DPS on the boss we're not hitting the best here so this white one right here you want to put on the slayer staff and immediately attack the zombie to kill him and we'll switch back and start attacking again move out of the way of that dangerous fireball 
I wish we would hit because uh, usually the dragon or crossbow just absolutely shreds. This one right here, that purple one, is the one where you have to put your quick prayers back on. Be mindful of that because you can definitely take some damage if you're not paying attention. We've got another acid kind of phase right here. You just want to walk back and forth. It's nice when you find this like big open area right here. Um, so you can kind of walk back and forth, no problem. Very good time to eat, maybe drink a prayer potion, like I said, during this uh, stage of the fight. So that you don't have to do it while you could be doing damage to the boss. And another range attack here. Nice that we're tanking a few of them here. At the end of the fight here, you can put on the uh, root, uh, the diamond bolts. And you should be just smacking Vorkath. We will put on the Slayer Staff again. Kill this uh, little spawn here. And yeah, we're almost done with this first kill here. And he's got 13 HP left, so that should be the kill. Easy peasy. Use three pieces of food. Not too bad at all. And the first kill is coming in at almost 200k. If you're an Iron Man, one really good thing about this boss is he will drop Dragon Bolts unfinished, which these are very nice if you want to make some more bolts to take here, some stronger bolts, right? Uh, yeah, he drops a lot of loot, so you may not be able to pick it all up, obviously. So there was a new method with the reagent pouch where you can actually crush the superior bones down. I know a lot of people might not have this, so I decided not to take it this hour. So yeah, we're going to be killing the boss for a full hour today and see how much money we can make in that hour because the superior bones are out of control right now, very expensive. So can we make, can we break two plus million GP an hour? I, I'm thinking so. All right, see you guys in an hour. First trip is completed, and let's check how much money that we made in three kills, by the way. Pretty insane. So in three kills here, we have made 566k. So for banking, I head over to my house and use the pool and then quickly go over to the crafting guild up here and then i can just simply deposit all of the loot into the bank and uh kind of rinse and repeat so the good thing also if you have the um probably a lot of people don't have this but if you do have the potion storage you can actually just deposit your potions again and then just immediately get like four doses back so it's nice Oh, you see that, guys? We hit a new personal best. Uh, 137, not too bad. Well, we've got a couple uh, minutes left on the timer here, but that's not going to be enough time for another trip. So this will be the last kill. So it's about 58 minutes or so, which is yeah, it's basically an hour. Good drop for the last one, too. Well, the hour is officially up, and it was a pretty good hour overall. So, first of all, I'm going to show you the XP. We gained about 97k XP per hour, 64k range, not bad, 23k HP, and 4,000 magic just from uh, casting the Crumple Undead spell. Now, as for the GP, pretty crazy we only got 20 kills in the hour i'm sure you could get a lot more if you're better at the game or maybe you have better gear better setup know how to kill vorkath a lot better but i managed to get about 20 kills and that came out to 3.6 million gp which is crazy to think about you could farm this boss a couple hours at night and get a green cash stack pretty nuts and uh i mean even if the bones do drop a little bit it's still going to be at least two plus million gp per hour but right now maybe take advantage of it it is definitely worth killing in 2024
Also, if you are like an Iron Man account, the drops are pretty useful. First of all, the Elkables is great. All the Dragon Hide can be used for crafting. And then also Elked, you've got runes and, uh, you know, like the Graves, great cooking experience. All the bones can be used for prayer as well. So it's a decent boss to farm on an Iron Man account as well. You make a lot of cash here. But uh, yeah, Vorkath itself is a fun boss to kill. It's very easy. I would almost say it's even easier to killed and Zalra because Zalra there is a lot more going on a lot of people depending on the gear setup with Zalra you have to switch back between magic and range this boss you could either do melee or range and I figured I'd try out the range method this time and it's pretty fun and great with the uh, dragon hunter crossbow but yeah Vorkath itself is a great boss to kill it's always really good money and uh, I would highly recommend you guys camp and kill Vorkath right now while all the prices are up but uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. I will catch you in the next one. See ya later.